What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new, welcome here. In today's video, I will be showing you how to plastic weld. I have some old JDM headlights here. These are off of a FD2 Type R. And I know they are a little bit cooked, but I do plan on restoring them in the future. But for today's video, we're gonna be concentrating on this tab right here. So this tab right here pretty much aligns with the fender bracket and bumper. So that way it could be secured as well as the top two tabs. So this is basically what holds the headlight in place. Let me show you what the tab is supposed to look like. And then I'll show you what I'm dealing with. All right guys, so we are under the headlight. This is the bracket here that I'm gonna be fixing on the other one. Again, they're a little dirty. Sorry, I didn't really clean it up yet. So this one here, you notice right away, it's super, super loose and the plastic is brittle. And I don't know if you could see, but it's actually cracked. If I can get it to focus right, right here. So, so that's what we're gonna do today. So for this specific job, you are gonna be needing a soldering iron. Any will do. I just got this one at Walmart not that long ago. You're gonna need some zip ties, preferably the same color that you're working with. So I'm working with black plastic. It would look a lot better if you use the same color zip ties if you can. And then this is optional. This is some steel wool, which used to reinforce the actual tab so that way it could be just as strong, if not stronger. Now, normally I would recommend to go ahead and solder outside if you can in a well-ventilated area. Fortunately for me, it is 100 plus degrees out right now. <laughs> So, I mean, I, technically I could go outside and do it, but I'm trying not to do that. Hopefully it won't smell as bad in here. Also the soldering iron is very hot, so try not to burn yourself. So I have the soldering iron all plugged in. It is starting to get a little bit hot. I can feel the heat coming out of it. Also, I do recommend getting like a sponge. Soak it in either water, distilled water, so that way as soon as you're done using it and there's like residue, you could just wipe it off and it'll be clean again. Here is the affected area. There is the crack right there. And I'm gonna try my best to go ahead and just kind of First kind of just tack it and just get it exactly where I need it to be. I'm gonna set you guys down, show you guys time lapse and also real time how I do this. Okay, so it did come out pretty good. It does look a little rough, as you can see. Uh, we'll have to sand that down with some sandpaper, but aside from that, uh, it came out really, really good. At the top there, you could see I did kind of touch it with the uh, bottom of the soldering iron, so it did melt a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, this other side, I had to go back in and add a little bit more, which I'll show you a picture right here, just to secure it. But I mean, judging from the gap that's in the middle there it does look good uh, feels sturdy i did measure it it is about an inch width so both are good on each side and equal hope you guys found this video informative it's not that difficult and to be honest it's definitely a lot better method than like using JB Weld or any type of adhesive because this is more of a stronger bond the next video if you guys are interested to see the restoration of these headlights let me know down below if you guys like the video please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below also if you guys aren't following my instagram channel go ahead and hit it up i'll put that in the description as well let me know what you guys are working on your cars if you have any new parts or any updates and stuff like that i uh, really like to hear all of that stuff as well all right so this is the word of the day be patient. I'm um, actually going through it right now. Uh, when I was younger, I had so much patience. I can wait pretty much forever. Um, and I still can a little bit, but you know, you kind of have to teach yourself sometimes that not everything can happen all at once. And you kind of just have to trust the process. Just know that in the back of your mind that 
it's gonna happen and it is happening. And you just have to remind yourself every now and then that good things will come. Don't rush into anything. If you have to think about it, chances are it's probably not worth it. Just stay motivated and stay humble. So that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope again, you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.